All right, so before we used to get that error message, we're gonna go back here, right? And then we actually go to here. And we, if we go to like read or whatever, it says scanning, see that? So before it would say like your SD card is not inserted, all that. So that is how you guys can fix that. You guys just wanna download on your Windows or Mac, and then you just wanna update, make sure it's from the latest version, and it will tell you right here, pretty much space until your databases. This thing's amazing, guys. 100% with everything. All right, so scan now. And also what we can do is actually go over to anything we want now. So before it gives the SD card, obviously you also need an SD card as well. And you put that bad boy in right there, just how you see it. So like, like that. Um, you put the SD card in there. It's a micro SD card. You could do up to 128 gigabytes, but what they recommend is an SD card from 16 gigabytes. I mean, a micro SD card from 16 gigabytes to 32. So mine is a micro SD card, 32 gigabytes. I literally ordered it off of um, Amazon. It was $8 and it got here in one day. I live in Florida. So I also ordered the flip off from Amazon. They do have like retail stores and all that you guys can buy it from, but they sell out within minutes. Like it's crazy. Um, but I brought mine off of Amazon. I say it was a good deal. I got it for like two fifteen. It was fifteen dollars for a shipping, so I got it for two thirty. Well, the average price for this goes for like two hundred, and it was really, really in demand. It could go up to like it actually went up to a thousand at one point, which is crazy. But this, I love this thing. It's so cool. I'm gonna make a bunch of videos on this thing, guys, as well. So that is how you pretty much can fix that um, error on your flipper, and how you guys can pretty much update it as well. So now when we go to the big thing I was trying to go to was infra infrared, which is pretty much like the TV remotes and the air conditioners and all that. Tap on here. And you actually can learn remotes, which I can, I'm going to show you guys another video on how to do that. It's so cool. Um, also, save remotes, debug. So we're going to go to universal remotes now. And we go to, you have audio players, air conditioners, and TV. So yes, you can control this with your air conditioner and your TV. So it's pretty cool. I like the remote thing. So remote, I went to, and I'm going to go to TVs. And there you guys go. Now it's working. So before it gives us the SD card error, um, if you have the SD card put in, just update it through the system. And now it installed the database on your SD card. Now you guys are good to go. We're gonna go and try this out and yeah. Guys, so I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you guys at all, okay? So I literally did not do anything, okay? Like I didn't touch the TV. All I did was go back here where you guys saw. I didn't I didn't actually manually control it with, you know, remote it with my remote stick. All I'm doing right now is going here. Let's see if it works. Pressing the volume, going up. Oh my god, it's crazy. I'm and like this is legit. Press down, down. And just to let you guys know, look, my remote's right there. It's not being touched. So if you guys want to see my whole setup, like, I'm not touching anything. There's literally no one in this room with me. So, also, ready? I'm going to go to here. And you can turn the TV off. Ready? One, two. Oh, <laughs> That's crazy, guys. You can do this to any TV, which I don't know why I keep saying send in. All right, let's go to stop and then just turn it back on. And it's a little weird because it's over here too, so I'm not, let's see, okay, now it didn't work. Uh, let me try to get better here. Cool. There we go, now it came back on because you hear that noise. That's so crazy. All right, now I can press stop because it's coming back on. There we go. Just like that, it works. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next one. Peace.